Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh and today we are going to discuss about some new features of EC2. As you know that AWS is regularly making some changes and providing new features related to EC2 instances and rest of services. So within this video I am going to explain that what new features has AWS added into your EC2 console and EC2 dashboard. So let us try to launch one instance and then we will see that what all changes have been made on the platform of AWS EC2 instances. Fine. So let us try to create instance. So this is as simple as earlier it was. So we will try to launch one instance. We will select an AMI. AMI means Amazon machine image. You need to uh, select AMI as per your requirement. Whatever you want you can select. For this tutorial, I'm going to select Red Hat. You can opt anyone because the changes have been made for every EC2 instance. Keep this thing in mind whether you are going to select CentOS, Amazon AMI, maybe Ubuntu you are going to select or whatsoever you are going to select. These changes are applicable for every type of AMI you are going to choose. Whether you are going to opt any on demand whether you are going to uh, opt any your individual AMI or whatsoever you are going to opt. So these options will be available for you on all available AMIs. So these options are not dependent on AMIs. So you can opt this. I'm going, I have selected T2 micro. Okay. So this is a page where some changes have been made from the side of AWS. So what are these I'm going to explain. So as this uh, this was earlier as available, like you can choose number of instances you want to launch. You can write here, maybe 10 instances you can write, so, but I'm going to write here one only. Okay, so this is new feature added on the platform of AWS. Now you can launch your EC2 instance directly into your auto scaling group. Keep this thing in mind. If your auto scaling group is already scaled up, for example, if you wanted to have maximum five instances running in your auto scaling group and you launch this new instance also in the same auto scaling group so that will terminate one of your previously running instance or if you delete an instance so obviously auto scaling group is going to take care of your minimum requirements so that will at least have minimum number of servers running in your auto scaling group this is new feature like you can directly launch from here to your auto scaling group okay Purchasing options should how many types of instances you can have. Maybe you can have spot instances, you can have on demand instances, and you can have uh, multiple type of instances within your account. So, what type of instance do you want? You can go here if you want to go for uh, spot instances. So, you can select this one. So, available zone and current price. So, these are price per hour. So, you can check if you want to go for on demand instances okay network this is particular vpc section like which vpc you want to opt for so i have only one vpc by default selected so i cannot change it i can create new vpc uh, what is vpc it means virtual private cloud if you have not gone through my previous videos which i have created on vpc section so please do watch them so you will be able to understand in better manner okay so subnet if you talk about there are two subnet available as we are working in mumbai region so two subnets, it means two availability zones are available in Mumbai region. You can select any one. So if you select default, no preference, so AWS will select one availability zone for you. Okay. Auto send public IP by default this is enabled. If you need to log into a public server, you, you need to log into your server using public IP. So make this enable. Otherwise, you can go and you can disable it. If you select this setting, so obviously public IP will not be assigned to you and you shall not be able to log into your server using public IP. For sure, if you have your YUM server or Bastion host enabled in your account, so you will be able to log in. Okay, this is new feature which was earlier not available. Recently, this feature has been added, and I wanted to have a word on this. So, what is this? Launch an instance in a placement group to benefit from greater redundancy or higher networking throughput. Select an existing group or create new one. What does it mean? So first of all, we have to understand what is placement group. Placement group is a logical group of your servers. What, what sort of logical group it is? For example, if you are going to create 
एम फोर एक्स लार्ज सर्वर्स इट मीन्स यू आर गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट सच काइंड ऑफ सर्वर्स विच आर मेमरी ऑप्टिमाइज वॉट वुड हैपन वेन यू क्रिएट योर फर्स्ट सर्वर मे बी दैट विल बी क्रिएटेड ऑन होस्ट एक्स होस्ट एक्स मीन्स द पर्टिकुलर सर्वर विच इज प्लेस्ड इन एडब्ल्यू डेटा सेंटर सो दैट विल बी प्लेस्ड ऑन सर्वर एक्स यू गो फॉर क्रिएशन सेकेंड मशीन सो दैट विल दैट मे बी क्रिएटेड ऑन सर्वर वाई you go for creating multiple servers maybe uh, z e b c so uh, it could be possible that your all the instances may be created on different physical hosts when your servers are created on different physical host so it could be a reason it could be problematic stuff for you because that depends on the type of hardware that that particular virtual machine will be working on placement group is a solution for that you can have all of your servers running on the same placement group so aws will ensure that your machine will be running on same hardware aws will provision only those machines on your single hardware as aws has capacity to provision those instances if existing if you if the capacity will ex, uh, exceed so obviously you will be uh, given one message one notification will be pop up on your account screen that you will have to migrate or you cannot launch further instance into into this placement group because the capacity of physical host has been exhausted now fine so what you need to do is you need to click on this option so right now once again there are uh, like for placement groups if you have existing one so add an existing placement group so you will have to select from here because we do not have any existing placement group so we can go and we can create new placement group i am going to say this placement group as test so further there are two options either you can go for uh, spread or you can go for cluster mode so cluster mode is, is still not available because we are going we have only one server available here cluster mode will be uh, possible only then when we are going to have multiple servers okay so placement group strategy what is this a logical grouping of your cluster instances placement group have low latency full by section 20 gbps bandwidth between instances select an existing group or create new so right now we are going to select uh, spread here and one more thing to keep in mind this could be one interview question okay how many instances can we launch as of now within one placement group within one availability zone so number of 7 keep this thing in mind this is new feature of aws which aws is provided so for now i am going to uncheck this but keep this thing in mind this can be used if you are going to use placement group as an additional option to launch your instance okay so i am going to uncheck this for now iam role we have already discussed if you want to select and or if you want to assign any iam role it means identity and access management role so you can select here shutdown behavior we already know there are only two stop or terminate stop this will bring your server up again if you want to start it but if you go for termination so there will be nothing left everything will be lost fine then after enable termination protection so this is also well known to you it means if you click this particular option your your machine will not be deleted accidentally we will have to disable this option forcefully and after that you can go ahead fine monitoring default monitoring is by default for 5 minutes detail monitoring you will you can enable it this will be for 1 minute span but this will be chargeable i am not going to enable it as well now tenancy it means you can have either you can have shared run a shared hardware instance it means the machine which you are going to create will be running on a shared hardware where multiple uh, clients of aws can come and create their own instances on the same hardware it means your physical hardware will be shared then after you can run a dedicated instance dedicated instance means you are going to make a commitment with your aws that for next one year maybe three year we are going to run this instance at least so that that is known as dedicated instance now dedicated host this uh, this option is not highlighted this is grayed out reason being because i do not have any physical host available in aws under my account so this option is disabled for me these hosts are utilized on in that condition if you want to have your data your database running in aws and you want that that particular physical server should be utilized by you only 
you don't want to have shared resources so then you can go for this option so for now i'm going to run as a shared hardware instance fine now this is one uh, once again this is new option t2 unlimited what is this what was the previous scenario you were assigned one cpu and one gb of ram as t2 micro but when you are talking about t2 unlimited so if you enable this option what will it do it will enable t2 unlimited so what does it mean enabling t2 unlimited allows application to burst beyond the baseline for as long as needed at a time if the average cpu utilization of the instance is at or below the baseline the early instance prices automatically covers all uses otherwise all uses above baseline is billed for example when you create any machine some credit points are given to you for example we say, let's say that we are given 40 credit points if we run one machine for 24 hours every day for a month that becomes somewhere 720 hours so 40 credits are utilized within complete month but what happens if low if load of uh, cpu is going beyond 50 or maybe beyond 100 so it could be possible that those 40 credits may be utilized within first five or maybe six days maximum but still your load is really higher so what would happen this will trigger some charges within your account but obviously your machine performance will not slow down so keep this thing in mind this is paid service this is chargeable if you are going to check this particular option so your machine performance will obviously increase but your account will will face some unwanted charges which you don't want so keep this thing in mind before enabling enabling it that this is paid option add storage so you can add multiple type of storage either general purpose ssd provisioned iops cold hdd throughput optimized magnetic so whatever you want you can add here keep this thing in mind that these hard disks are available if you want so five type of disks are available so as per your requirement you can choose either of if you if you click here so when you terminate this machine so this additional disk also will, will be terminated if you want to encrypt this so you can you can encrypt because some keys are available so the default key will be utilized here I do not have any ARN configured so this this option is not applicable for me because obviously I did not configure KMS it means key management service I have not yet configured in my account if you have so you can enable that and you can encrypt your password your uh, partition add tags so this is one exam question if you are preparing for exam then how many tags can you add up to 50 tags you can add and what is the minimum key value so what that is 127 characters and that, that is what is length of value it means how many characters can be there in the value of a tag so that is 255 so that is more than good enough so i'm going to write here maybe test or uh, i will write here key name and value will be test so whatever you want this particular should be naming convention should be really good because you can identify your servers that why you created what was the reason behind creating creating this and all now configure security group so either you can select your security group which is already existing in your account or you can select new one so i'm going to select existing one because 22 port is already open and that is required for me and after that we will go for review and launch so you can check what all stuff you have configured if you want to go for instance detail you can check here that uh, affinity of host id of and rest of feature this particular you can check storage how many disk you have added and if you want to go for tax so tax can be seen here name and value and after that launch when you go for launch it will ask you to acknowledge that you have this key pair so i already have this key pair in my account and i have the private part of this particular key which is my sql test.pam file i have so i'm going to launch this so this is how you can utilize new features which are provided from the side of aws and you can start utilizing with new features so this is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching have a good time happy learning from server again if you have yet not liked if you have yet not subscribed to my channel please do like share and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to share these videos with your friends thank you very much have a good time happy learning